Alright, welcome back to more Mega Man Maker. We are playing through a tighter boss level. It's called Rock's Rescue and it's basically like a level series, if you will, over on the Mega, uh, Mega Man Maker forums. And yeah, Dr. Wily has kidnapped Rolls Cat Tangle and he also kidnapped Mega Man. So yeah, we're basically on this island here where Dr. Light assumes Dr. Wily has taken Mega Man and uh, Tango there, so yeah. We're basically on a quest to retrieve the lost robots. Oh yeah, and <laughs> that's right, uh, Dr. Wily is supposedly trying to rebuild Mega Man into an evil robot, so that's the story there. It's pretty neat, I will say. Might still have some, <laughs> some backstory here. And yeah, we only have the flame sword, so yeah, it's pretty bare bones here at the very start. Nice, and I almost fell there. Hmm. Huh, well, oh Jesus, <laughs> he almost clipped my legs there. Well. Hmm. Yeah, pretty interesting room there. You gotta kind of look around a little bit before you start moving in there. Yeah, it's nice to be playing some tighter both levels here now. We haven't seen the stages from him in a very long while. Um, <laughs> probably close to a year now, actually. Has it really been that long, though? <laughs> well, probably not that long, but... Oh, not too far off either. Yeah, time sure flies. And uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, dang. <laughs> I fell right onto the ice cube. I think that the flame sword deals a little bit more damage than her broom. But obviously, you're not as nimble. With the sword, it's kind of laggy, if you will. Huh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see. We've had these gimmicks before, but with spikes now, yeah, now we just take some damage if we should fail that. Oh, god, Jesus. <laughs> and I'm in a pickle here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful here. <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna die here any second now. Just letting you know. <laughs> okay, so we're also gonna have these things. I never remember what these are, the flip-flop platforms here. Like, yeah, I never remember their names. I'm dead. Oh, dude, I actually managed to survive. Woof. Yeah, I clutched that one. Holy cow! <laughs> huh. Well, I can't destroy this. We're just gonna... Oh, oh dude, I don't know why I went there. Huh. That was just dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> this is some really cool uh, platforming, actually, though. It does feel a bit hard for being an intro stage, however. But, yeah, I'm, I don't really mind. I'm just <laughs> saying what I... You know, uh, how it strikes me here. But still, it was a very cool segment there. Oof. Yeah, I noticed the stage had, uh, like, what was that? Five uploads and four downloads? Um, I think it, that the downloads surely has to come from the difficulty here on some of these parts. Like, there aren't a lot of instant death, which is interesting. You know, you just get a... Um, Survive, you know, the enemies, which, you know, I like those types of challenges. Ooh, and this is very interesting. See how Tyler used the bounce ball guy down there. With the, yeah, passable platform, if you will. Ho Whoa! Dang it, okay, we gotta go. Can we actually grind some help of this guy here? 
I don't think we can. Or maybe. Nope. Just gonna go. Oh, jeez. This is a really tricky E tank path. I'm dead. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. But surely now it won't be as hard here. Now that I have some health, you know. <laughs> that, may that was mainly so darn hard just because I was half dead jumping into that. So. Yeah, but we're still gonna have to be careful. These. Yeah. Like, once you destroy the ball, it seems like they just throw another one. I don't think I've caught on to that before, but before this stage. That they actually did that. Huh. They are kind of like Coltons in that fashion. You know, when their bullets go off screen, they shoot another one immediately. Kind of the same deal here with these guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we get the E tank. Very nice. Yeah, so that's a typical trope here in Tyler's Labs. Oh, and see, yeah. This door was the door we saw there outside. Okay. Oh, oh god. Jesus. Well, I'm getting my ass beat here. Playing very sloppily. And we might do two of these per video, maybe. This level was only 37 screens, so I might go ahead and do a second one of these rock rescue stages here. We gotta get out of here. I'm getting, I'm getting plastered by balls to my face. And this is also a very interesting challenge, you know. Huh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, dang it. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is kind of like a mini boss here. Nice, and... Yeah, same thing with these guys, actually. Once you destroy their ball, they toss another one, pretty much. Oh god. <laughs> what the heck? I <laughs> Wow. That's a really tricky room. Dang it, dude. Stop embarrassing me. Was it in here? Yeah, okay, nice. So, we're just gonna, yeah. Like, it's better to not beat around the bush in here and just kind of go for it, I guess. If you just sit around for too long. But probably it's not gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna aid you if you... Dang it. Yeah, these electric things have... Yeah, their hitbox is bigger than you think it is, like... I don't think you can walk out. Like, it's not like with spikes where you can walk out a couple of pixels with your feet. It doesn't seem like. Oh! Jesus! Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, that guy zoned me out there. Oh, wow. Get out. <laughs> fast, fast, fast. Holy crap, dude. Oh, I pressed. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I swear I pressed it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna cut back here, I bet. We don't wanna skip out too much of the action here, since it is pretty hard to backtrack. Dude, nice. I got a little bit lucky there, but yeah. Okay, so this time we're probably just gonna go down here instead. Yeah, see that was much better much much better and here we're just gonna dodge this guy pull off the jump there and up here and nice okay that was that was much smoother than before oh
Whoa. Nope. We have health here. Let's just... Yeah, let's just try and get him out of here. Nice. Very nice. And that might be the stage. This should be the boss, the final boss here. And it's Yamato Man, and... <laughs> I just willingly jumped up into that, and this is pretty interesting, like how he... Yeah, see, he's gonna run around up there on the top. Yeah, and sometimes he's gonna fall, even. Okay. And is he... <laughs> is, he is he taking double damage? I think he is. Yeah, nice. And... Yeah, I clearly need that, because I'm playing quite sloppily. Dang it, <laughs> quit running into shit. Oh, yeah, I'm not on the top of my game today. I can already tell. Are we gonna make sure we get in the damage and stop being hit by his simple attacks here? Oh, yeah, that was a pretty fun first boss there. Uh, fairly interesting. Um, pattern on him, I just kind of screw that up. Uh, that's not too hard to do without taking damage. But yeah, that was a very hard intro stage. Um, I can only assume that it's gonna get even more difficult from here, but see, yeah, we have uh, three more parts here, so I reckon we're just gonna do this one right away, and this one has three uploads and zero downloads, that's interesting. Let's see here, I'm gonna go onto the forums here and see... What plot we have, yeah, roll us made into the Wily Fortress. Unfortunately, up until teleporting in, a security system has removed Flame Sword from our inventory, but uh, <laughs> with no other choices before her roll continues onward, determined to save her friend. Okay. Oh, so, we gotta... Yeah, we gotta buy a weapon here. I think I'm gonna go with the... Oh, so that's where the Flame Sword is. I think I'm actually gonna go with uh, the Atomic Fire, just because I don't play with it very much. But yeah, the Broom would probably be the smarter weapon. Let's be real. Um, okay, so we have that there, the Flame Sword, and up here. Okay. So this one is kind of like a mini Metroidvania here, if you will. Yeah, we're just gonna. Whoops, <laughs> we're just gonna have to do some dodging here at the start. Okay, that was Im Imsi, uh, easy enough. We need two keys to pass there. And yeah, can you? <laughs> can you please get out of here, you? Oh, <laughs> look at that! He was stuck on this. He was stuck on thin air. <laughs> well, we do have the flame sword. Could we do something over here? No, that was the broom, okay. Okay, okay, well, I guess we only have this path left. Hmm. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Can't get the checkpoint quite. And I assume this here takes me back in, so yeah, we're not gonna take that teleporter. Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay, so... If I remember, we gotta come back here with the crash bomb. This here was the... Well, yeah. I don't know what to call this section. I gotta try and remember it anyway. Come back there. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard one. Probably don't wanna hit the ball here, actually. Just wanna let it... Yeah, move on by there is the best way. Oh, and see, here we have... <laughs> here we have the spikes. Oh, crap. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay, that was also pretty cool there. Yeah, like, the dodging with the... Drag or serpent flies, I believe those are called. Well, Yumbo or whatever. They are called in Mega Man terms, but you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh, and there, 
There's the first key. You know what? We are definitely going back for that. Don't wanna... Don't wanna skip out on the keys here. And yeah, we also gotta make sure we dodge properly once we get up here. Easier said than done, of course. Yeah, okay. So you only need to dodge one ball there, then you should have enough time to finish off the ball tosser guy there. Okay, well... Ooh, we already have a Bowser. I wonder, will he also drop a key? Well, actually, it'll probably just open up a teleporter so that we can get back. That would make sense. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, Bombman is actually a lot harder when you only have a melee weapon, I will say. Man, maybe not a lot harder, but yeah. Definitely offers a bit more challenge. And yeah, what <laughs> what the heck was that? He just <laughs> he's just prancing around. He didn't throw a bomb for like 15 seconds there. That was very odd behavior by Bomb Man. And now that I think about it, you can actually kind of hide under this. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're done. You're done, Ski, and we got a blue key. Huh, and that's probably a teleporter back to the lab. No, 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 that's the wood section. Okay, so, crash bombs in wood section. Okay, 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 crash bombs, wood section. All right. Okay, now we can go down there. Yeah, we're completely down over there, I believe. There might have been something over there. Let me just check out. I'll just cut back. Okay, yeah, so I checked out all the way over there to the left. We have a green door there. Like, a green door that um, requires two uh, green keys. So, yeah, we gotta find some more stuff here before we even think about hiding there. And. Oh, okay. So, we can go here. And there's a ladder down there, that's probably just decoration. But yeah, we can go to the right, we can also go to the left, and whoops, I just rolled right into him. Huh. Oh, just barely made that. Well, that's a pretty interesting room there, actually. Oh god, and this tell is gonna be bad news. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta trust it, huh? Nice. <laughs> well. Nice, we have some switches here. Yeah. Switch puzzles. Or platform. I like these. I'm actually kind of surprised we don't see even more of them. I remember that when they first were about to be added, like. Oh! Oh, oh, nice. Um, yeah, when they were first announced, I wasn't too excited about them, but you know, I gotta admit, they actually are. A lot of fun to have in the game. Yeah. It's kind of like in Super Mario Maker. You know, in the 3D land. Damn it. <laughs> in the 3D land. Um, you know, <laughs> game mode there. With the on and off blocks there. Kind of mimics that. Okay, but yeah, I gotta focus here a little bit. I, yeah, you really gotta. Oh, dude, I almost messed it up again. You, you really gotta focus there in that room. Okay, so same deal here, but not with enemies. So <clears throat> let me just see what we need to do. Go down there, roll, jump up, up there, there. Okay, well, 
easy enough. And I'm fairly sure that if we fall now, it just lights out. Oof. <laughs> Dude, this is kind of crazy. No! <laughs> I got too antsy. Holy crap. Well, that was fun though. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's just speed this up here a bit. Okay. Now, let's try and do this a little bit better. Nice. Nice, okay. And there you just gotta try and keep the timing in your head. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, now it's gonna get really tricky here. I hope I don't get telefragged. <gasps> Fast! <sighs> Oh, oh god, dude. <laughs> I really lucked out there. What the heck? Oh, and now we're blind here. Oh, and there you gotta go fast. Wow. Oh, and we're back here. Oh, dude. Whew. Well, we're cutting back again. Okay, oof. Phew, I made it. Okay, now we're gonna make this one count here. Nice. And this is where we gotta be really fast here. <gasps> nice! Okay, I made it. I made it, I made it, I made it. And very nice. Phew, I actually had a few checkpoints, a few checkpoints, I have a few deaths there that I'll be cutting out, but um, yeah, I got like pushed through the blocks there a couple of times, it was kind of a little bit glitchy, like, I believe that they removed the telefragging, like, of those on and off switch blocks there, and instead made it so that if you clip into them a little bit, you just sink down instead, which, yeah, I definitely still think that's better than having the instant death occur just in case if there is ground below the player. Um, but yeah, I, I died a few times due to that. Uh, I timed the jumps poorly and yeah. See, just <laughs> kind of like that. And actually, we probably want to keep that little bugger alive. Well, I screwed up. <gasps> <laughs> okay, well, that was a very nicely timed yarn ball by the cat there, by the Tama. And I actually wonder, like, let's try and experiment, can we actually sit on the side? Okay, no, you can't. I thought maybe there was like a pixel open there on the very edge of these blocks, but yeah. Whoops, that's clearly not the case though. Nice. And yeah, I'm playing very sloppy right now. Taking sloppy hits, as it were. <laughs> I don't remember when I said that the first time, but yeah, it's been a thing. Oh god, dude, this is a... What? Oh, I'm getting my... Behind kicked? What the heck? This is like a super tricky Tama here. Usually I don't have this many troubles with uh, the Tama Mimini bosses, but... Yeah, she really has a... Yeah, she has a nice vantage point here. Dang it, I, yeah, I tried to slash the ball as I jumped it and I fed it again. Well, let's just wait here now. Do that, yeah. Nice, okay. And a checkpoint. Very nice. I wonder if we get the crash bombs in here. Ooh, well. Good old Cutman. Which I shouldn't have too many issues with.
Oops. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. He didn't really get to utilize his room there since I just kind of danced around him. Ooh, nice. Now we finally have the crash bombers here. Awesome. Okay. So now we gotta go back up here. And we are going to go. <laughs> uh, I think it was up. Yeah, we need to go up. Two green keys to the left, and we need that to get in there. But we need a red key. Yeah, wait. Huh. Wait. What am I missing here? Did I miss something, uh, something down here? I hope I didn't miss a key on that path. Um, because yeah, only two green keys there. Is there something up here? Like, yeah, even if I destroy that, it's not gonna do me a whole lot of good. Oh no, I remember, we had the crash bombs in here. Yeah, okay. Now I remember. <laughs> okay, well. Let's take you out. Nice, okay, we found it. Yeah, I had a little brain fart there, but yeah. I got around to it. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> More of these guys. My, Yeah, my kryptonite. The baseball dudes. And it's very tempting to use the crash bounce, but... Yeah. Probably not the best idea to use it all willy-nilly in here. Might need it for gates. But here we're gonna make an exception. Take him out and hopefully can get some energy from the frogs. Actually, I should have been grinding on the frogs there. Yeah, that would have been a good idea, I believe. And, oh, you know what? Oh, he's immune to that. Holy cow. Well, it's fine. We deal two damage with this sword. Oh, oh <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. Nice. Nice, okay, yeah, not the cleanest fight, but I think I did all right anyway. Yeah, as I said, I really want this here now. I'm actually kind of getting used to the flame sword, so yeah. It's not so bad actually. Let's see now. Um, now that we have that, we are gonna go up here. Like that, and you know what? Oh, dude, I accidentally shot one. You know what? Let me just refill. See in a sec. And we're back. Okay. I just went back and. Got my crash bounce back. And... Oh, dude, that is so... <laughs> that is so unnerving, yeah, when you can't see his baseballs down there. I wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference in terms of difficulty, but... No, it, it surely does. And... Uh, go get you out of there and that took so much energy maybe oh I want that <laughs> maybe we'll just stick with the fire sword actually until we get across one of these yeah these guys are where this is gonna come in handy because yeah okay so mini bosses um, we're just gonna let Atomic Fire take care of mini bosses here. That's basically my plan here. Other than that, I'm just gonna try and refill it by looting energy here. And yeah, this guy is. Yeah. I still don't know how to fight him properly. But he does take two damage. 
I need to remember an exploit here with Hardman and the Flame Sword here. Yes, yeah, so if you jump and have the sword out in the air, you can really you can really deal some damage to him since the hitbox is out there for some reason. <laughs> Looks awesome. Oh, wait, was that the final boss? Okay, well, I, okay, <laughs> that was the final boss. I thought there was uh, another path that I hadn't taken yet. Okay, well, so yeah, um, very interesting first two parts here. Um, we're g definitely going to be playing these two in the soon future, like part two and three. So the first one was a uh, intro stage. They're pretty hard, but still, it had a lot of fun dodging there. Um, you know, sliding on and off those dropping platforms and enemies came at you. Um, and this one here was kind of more like a mini metroidvania style level. I definitely like the on and off platform segments there the most. And I hope the other stages have a little bit of that too. I, I really do love those gimmick usages or... Yeah, I really do love the on and off platforms. <laughs> it's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, and maybe... Yeah. I also have liked in the past when... Tyler has been using the ice blocks there. Maybe we'll get some of those too, you know, the shootable ones that you can crack. Yeah, but we'll see. Um, either way, it was a fun... Um, it was a fun start here with the intro and the wily stage one. So yeah, in the next level, we're gonna see what the plot is all about here before we shut off. Roll is taken the first power core of Wireless Fortress and now aims to shut down the forest sector's pump station and save Tango. Okay, so we'll probably get Tango after doing the second stage there. What sort of challenges await in the desert sector? Huh, roll places just have to... Okay, well, okay, well, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So, yeah, we'll do that in the next one. So, yeah. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have a nice day.